After months of speculation, the former Republican governor will not be on the ballot during this year's primary. Bevin did visit the Capitol today and spoke at length in the rotunda about what he thought was wrong and needed to be fixed in Kentucky government. But he left without filing for candidacy. WLKY's Alexis Matthews was there for his fiery speech. She joins us live from Frankfurt. Alexis. Well, Vicki, many of us have more questions than answers tonight, but we do know that Matt Bevin does not have his hat in this year's governor's race. Now it all started with a tweet from Bevin earlier today about sharing a few thoughts in the Capitol Rotunda before proceeding down the hall. Now the Secretary of State's office is down the hall, and today was the deadline to file for the governor's race. Now during Bevin's more than 20-minute speech, he called out Kentucky legislature talked about the state's broken systems from education to child welfare and even criticized Jefferson County Public Schools and highlighted Louisville's rising crime. Now, Bevin alluded several times to the Kentucky governor's race, even mentioning other candidates like Daniel Cameron and Kelly Kraft and referencing himself as among them when saying, let's not tear each other down. Now, I want you to hear this moment right before we all expected the former governor to walk over over to the Secretary of State's office. I love this state. I want to see this state become the greatest version of itself that it could possibly be. And I look forward to seeing this primary unfold, this next election unfold, in the years ahead of us unfold. And I appreciate you all for listening. And now I'm going to head down the hall. Now, the hall he walked down was not to the Secretary of State's office, but rather one that led him right out the Capitol doors. Now, the filing deadline was at 4 o'clock today, and at that time, Secretary of State Michael Adams shut the door. Now, since Bevin left, he has not been active on social media, nor has we heard from him or he has made any statements that we can tell you about tonight. Um, we'll keep you updated if we hear any further events with this, obviously on WLKY.com and on air and on our WLKY mobile app. Live from Frankfurt for you tonight, Alexis Matthews, WLKY News.